Brittany. So do you guys like my little setup behind me now? I finally got my scene setters in, so I'm like really excited about this. This is the first one that I set up. It's like a fireplace with skulls, and it's just like super creepy. If you followed me on Instagram at Brittany44, you probably already saw it. So I am like obsessed with it. I love it. It's gonna set the mood for all of my paranormal videos. So I'm just like really excited. The other scene setter I got was the catacombs one. So, and that looks really good too. So oh, I'm so excited to like film in front of that one as well. So today's video is all about the Sorrel Weed House and I'm just super excited about it. You guys know that I've been there before. I went on a tour there, a ghost tour about four years ago. And then two weeks ago, I went back there and I filmed a whole video all around Savannah called Haunted Savannah. And I went to the Sorrel Weed House, which I was so excited about because you guys know Ghost Adventures was there not long ago. I was like, you know, I was strutting, just like walking over like, oh yeah, you know, I'm in Ghost Adventures. I'm going to film something here. And then there was a guy that was sitting or a guy that was outside of it. And he's like selling tickets to people to go on um, the ghost tour there. And I go up to him just like, <laughs> and he's like, hello <laughs> and I'm just like so ghost adventures they were here right <laughs> and he was like yeah I think he thought I was a bit of like a psycho because I'm just like so what was it like what did you say to them were they nice and I was like going on and on and he's like yeah they were really nice guys um there's a bunch of people here who were like waiting out here because they knew that ghost adventures was here and they wanted to meet them and I was like oh my god that is so cool when did they get here and he was like they came in March and I was like so were you on were you on the the episode and he was like no but my friend was and I was like now where is your friend so then his friend came out like maybe 10 minutes later after I was like talking to this guy and he was telling me about it I was like oh I remember you oh yeah that's so cool oh my god and the guy was just like <laughs> like he was looking at me like I was a total psycho I'm just like well you know like I'm a ghost hunter too and he was like oh I'm just like yeah I got my own YouTube channel it's Brady 44 and he's like what I'm like a Brady 44 and then I pointed at my shirt because I had my blue Brady 44 top on and he's like oh yeah I'll have to look you up I'm just like yes you will have to do that but then I was like can I film here and they're like well you can't go inside unless you like go on the ghost tour I'm just like well no I just want to film on the outside just for today at least. So I filmed on the outside, he let me do it, and he was watching me film, and he was like, so do you like put like a voiceover over these? I'm just like, no, it's just this whole video, is just me walking around Savannah, all the haunted places, and I'm gonna be in slow motion with this really creepy music playing over. And he's like, ah, oh, okay. <laughs> it was just really cool, and he was asking me, he's like, have you ever been inside the Sorelby house? I was like, yeah, I was here like four years ago, and it was really cool. It was like, it was so exciting going through there and just like, I experienced things that were like talking about experiences. And then he told me that they've actually changed the tour up and it's more of a paranormal investigation. So I was like, what? A paranormal investigation? So you guys got your spirit boxes? And I think he said they had a spirit box. I don't know if it's a spirit box, maybe it was something else. But it was the EMF meter, the infrared camera, um, flashlights, obviously. I think that was about it. So we said it's more like a paranormal investigation. So that was so cool. I was like, oh my God, I have to go back. But unfortunately that day, there were so many things that we had planned. So I couldn't really go on the tour, which I was really bummed about, but I'm definitely gonna have to go on it again when I go there. And oh, it was just so amazing. And I'm just, you know, so it was really fun just being there and just asking him questions. And the other guy that was on the Ghost Adventures episode and yeah. <laughs> it was just, it was really cool, but you know. <laughs> so today's video is going to be all about the Sorrel Weed House. I'm going to tell you guys about the hauntings there, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, here we go. The Sorrel Weed House is one of the most haunted homes in Savannah. Fun little fact for you guys, the opening scene of Forrest Gump was actually filmed from the rooftop of the Sorrel Weed House. The home was built by a wealthy shipping merchant by the name of Francis Sorrel, and he built this home for his wife Matilda in 1838. The Sorrells owned numerous slaves, including one young lady by the name of Molly. Now Francis Sorrel was actually having an affair with Molly, and his wife Matilda actually walked in on them getting their groove on. Matilda then committed suicide by throwing herself off the balcony. Two weeks later, Molly was found hanging in the room where Matilda discovered her husband and Molly together. It is believed that Molly may have been murdered to cover up the scandal. 
As you guys know, I went on this ghost tour four years ago, and I actually mentioned this in my paranormal experiences video, if you guys have seen that, I will link it below in the description. I was on this tour, and I was actually standing in the room, the tour guide was telling us the story about Molly and Matilda, when Matilda threw herself off the balcony, and then how Molly was hanging there. And the tour guide also said that people in that room tend to feel very nauseous, dizzy, and sometimes like they have to throw, well, nauseous, so like they have to throw up. And sometimes people actually do throw up and people will run out of the room to throw up or to just like get some air because they feel really nauseous. I was standing in there and as soon as the tour guide told us that Molly was hanging, I don't know what it was, but I just got this huge wave of just being so nauseated. And I honestly thought I was going to throw up and I was like, you know, I was getting kind of anxiety over it because a lot of you guys know I am a metaphobic. So, you know, I started freaking out inside. My heart was like racing and stuff. The nauseous feeling just came so strong over me. And I was just like, I just kept, I was kind of closing my eyes. Like I would close them and like open them. It wasn't like I was tired. It's just, I kept doing that because I just felt so nauseous. And I'm just like, oh, like I, I was so excited to go on this ghost tour. I did not want to leave because I was sick. So I was like, oh, like I was getting really mad at myself and I'm just like, keep it cool, Brittany, keep it cool. Don't make it obvious that you feel this way, blah, 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 blah. And then as soon as we left that room, everything was fine and I felt normal again. So that was, I thought that was really weird. And I don't know, it could have been paranormal, like who knows, but just as soon as he said Molly was hanging, that's when I got very nauseous. A lot of people have caught apparitions or you name it, on camera in that house. Like I said, it's one of the most haunted homes in Savannah. And I caught, as you guys can see, this picture right here. Matilda is a very active spirit at that house. People have seen her with their naked eye. People have caught her on camera. Is that Matilda in the picture? Did I catch Matilda? That place where I took the picture, that's where Matilda is seen. That's where people have seen her, that's where people have caught her on camera. So did I catch her on camera? She looks really mad if that is her. So I, I don't know, that's just a really creepy picture. <laughs> people have also had scratches on their arms. It, there's just everything that you've seen in a ghost show or you've heard about. That's pretty much what people feel and see in this house. So I thought that was, it was terrifying, but it's very interesting. I would definitely recommend going on this ghost tour if you go to Savannah, it's totally worth it. It's so much fun and just so, interesting especially if you're a paranormal enthusiast like myself ghost hunter whatever like you know it's totally worth it so definitely go moving on to the basement part of the sorrel weed house there is a dark entity that has been seen down there and they also nickname him well i think it's a man a shadow person so Shadow people, if you guys remember when i was talking about shadow people in my video that is just really scary and he's kind of like a very negative dark entity that's in the basement. Now Francis Sorrell's oldest son, he was a surgeon and he would do procedures and surgeries on people in one of the rooms in the basement. So people are thinking is this dark figure, shadow person, someone who didn't survive surgery, someone who was angry about the surgery, obviously it's a very negative entity in that basement. And he is seen, people have seen him in the room where the surgeries took place and also in other rooms, but mainly in that room where the surgeries took place. Now there's also a couch in that basement where the shadow person is always, well, not always, but a lot of the times he is captured on camera sitting on the right side of the couch. So as you can see in this picture right here, I am sitting on that very haunted couch and I was quite excited about it. I was smiling, holding my EMF meter. It was, it was a lot of fun. People have actually felt the couch cushion beside them being pushed in, almost like somebody was sitting right beside them. Unfortunately, when I was sitting on that couch, I did not feel anybody sitting beside me. I was so excited. I remember on the tour, someone was like, oh my God, so who's gonna go sit on the couch? And I was like, me, I wanna sit on the couch. And a lot of people were scared. Some people were just like taking pictures of it, but I was totally like, you know what? This is like, you know, my territory. I love this stuff. So I was sitting there, it was just, it was so much fun. Oh my God, I loved it. But it was kind of freaky because it's pitch black down there. You can't see anything. And I went with Jesse actually, and I was sitting on the couch. I was like, I really want a picture from this couch. So he's like, okay. I didn't know anybody was sitting with me. And um, <laughs> like sitting on the couch, like an actual person from the tour. So Jesse like 
got his camera out and the flash went off and then all of a sudden I see this little boy sitting beside me and it scared me like <gasps> like I, I thought it was like a ghost but it was just a little boy getting pictures taken so it was kind of a little funny story. So that's basically it for the hauntings of the Sorrel Weed House. Like I said you guys definitely need to go there if you're ever in Savannah. It's totally worth it. It's so much fun and if you're a fan of ghost adventures then you gotta go because it just makes it even more fun. And Ghost Hunters were actually there I think in 2005 so quite a ways back. One more thing guys, uh, I, I don't know how to say this because I don't want to seem like, I don't know what the word is, but like my Britainators, my team Britney 44, can you guys help me with something? So as you guys know, I have been, well a lot of you guys know, I have been trying so hard to get Ghost Adventures to notice me. You probably see all my tweets, I'm always like, you know, just trying to get them to notice me, I want them to check out my YouTube channel. And they just never, they never tweet me back. They're always tweeting everybody else back. And I feel like, a part of me feels like they have seen my tweets before and they just think I'm like a psycho. And other part just thinks, no, they haven't seen it at all. Brittany, don't think like that. Can you guys like help me? I know you guys did it for Britney Spears and I never even asked you to do that. I thought that was really funny. Some of you were like tweeting to Britney Spears being like, notice Britney 44, she loves you. I'm like going on and on. So I thought that was really funny and really sweet. So thank you guys so much. But like, I just, I really want Ghost Adventures to notice me. I want them to be like, this girl is perfect. She is perfect for our show. We need a girl on our team. Let's get her. The Ghost Adventures manager actually noticed me. I tweeted to him or her, I don't know. And they favorited my tweet. So I was like, yes. <laughs> and I was like waiting. I was like, are you going to like reply to my tweet? But they never replied. I just want them to notice me, guys. Like, ah. Oh. But um, if you guys could like help me out, like tweet Aaron, Nick, Zach, the Ghost Adventures manager, with like the hashtag G A C Notice Britney. G A C stands for Ghost Adventures Crew. G A C Notice Britney, and then put like my at Britney Forty Four, like tag my Twitter in there, and be like, check out her YouTube channel. You guys, she thinks you guys are amazing. She's perfect for her show. I don't know. I just want them to see that. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to Las Vegas. They live in Las Vegas and I'm going in December and I have two missions. Well, even though I'm seeing Britney Spears in concert, but I'm going to try to like track Britney Spears down. But <laughs> Ghost Adventures, they live in Las Vegas. So I, I follow all of them on Instagram. They're always posting pictures and they're always on like the Las Vegas strip. So when they upload a picture, I'm going to be like, oh my God, that's where they are. Bam, I'm running down and I'm going to try to find them. I know that sounds crazy. I've already told my parents that. And they're just like, oh my God, Brittany. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. I'm, I have to meet them. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited for my future videos like I am. I cannot wait, especially with my scene setters. It just like brings the mood and it's just so awesome. <laughs> So all the links are in the description below. I make videos every Tuesday and Friday if you're brand new. Hello, welcome. Um, yeah, we're going to have so much fun together. We're going to be best friends. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.